Well, we're here at Mitchell. We thought we would start this at the corniest place possible. Today we're driving through South Dakota. We decided to stop off at a big attraction here. It's the Corn Palace, located in Mitchell, South Dakota. I've never been, so I am excited to see what it's all about. This way to the Corn Palace. We can cross the Corn Palace off the bucket list. I am very glad we stopped, very glad we checked it out. It's cool, it's a little weird, corny, and... It definitely smells like corn. Smells like corn. Uh, now I wanna get some popcorn. We are now heading to Badlands National Park, which is about three hours away. barely, but we made it. We just drove into Badlands National Park and we're excited to do a little hiking. I think we can handle that. <laughs> Just walked up. Just recovering from the ladder.
2016, the bison became the national animal of the United States of America. And I think that was a good choice. The national mammal? National mammal. Wow, you are just full of fun facts. About bison. That's a very fun bison fact. from the Badlands Prairie Dog Patch. Here we are, observing a family of prairie dogs. Let's go up this. Hey! It's a baby. Oh, oh my god. All right, we are still here in South Dakota. We had a fantastic time checking out the Badlands. Definitely set the bar high for the rest of our trip here. We heard there's some presidents hanging out on the side of a mountain. Coming here to check it out. So we are heading up the trail next to Mount Rushmore. We're gonna see what we see. So we just drove through Wind Cave National Park. It was about 30 minute drive from Mount Rushmore. And um, it has an elaborate cave system underneath. Unfortunately, the caves were closed, so we couldn't explore that today. So we'll have to come back sometime for that. But we took a really nice drive through. We got to see some wildlife. It's like basically Prairie Dog Park, like all along the road, the whole way through. There's just little families of prairie dogs running around. And we got to see some more bison because that's just what we're gonna see out here. And um, not crowded at all. There's barely anybody there. So kind of felt like we had the whole place to ourselves and we could just sort of explore and take a relaxed drive through. But uh, yeah, just a cool little park that we can cross off the national park list of places that we've been to.